man, man. Round there, round him, boss. Round there. Round there. Round there, round there, round there, round there. Wheel, wheel up. Oh, God. Keep tapping eyes on my phone. I'll tap the fuck for you. Round there, my boss. Round there, round there. Can't yeah, catch him, can't yeah, catch him. Run the road. Can't catch him, can't yeah, catch him. Can't yeah, catch him. Yeah, why am I view seem like they're gonna dash your wall traffic at book on him now? Yeah man. Yeah man, they're good all the revoke all him in badge for him, the transport authority badge. Yeah, yeah man, now what you pa look a dangerous thing mad or this and then you know, resist arrest and what you pa look at that thing, yep. Why? To me, it makes sense, it's just comply because sometimes the charge where you don't get it, just a small charge, you know. But when you go drive up and down and go do all of them look a reckless thing and have to swerve and come out a vehicle and near miss people and all of them something there. And then you yeah, resist arrest. Yeah, you know the charge end up pile up, you know. So right now I can't even talk to him. I have to just take where I get. And learn from the mistake because one look was probably a look of simple thing. Probably him have some outstanding ticket and him run off left them before. But continue running. How long you have a plan for do that and a taxi I run? Never had them know if you catch you, them know if you find you. So him only kinda make things bad for himself. I I don't know what action will be taken against him. The the judge would have make that determination the base on all of the evidence and the facts that brought before them. Yeah, because hmm, this this challenging base for him the right is huh? a very challenging movement in do. And I several people always do that. One of one of the best things I'm glad in a, this video when I see him do it alone. I'm one of the care and never have a passenger in it. Yeah. So that's the best thing. Um, right now, my opinion where this planet driver, where this driver is concerned, I think they don't catch him, they should have to suspend him license. Suspend him license because no matter what the circumstances may be, no care what the police, when the police stop you, you should stop. You understand? Because uh, of them, something that really cause accident on the road and all of them things that cause people life because you may run. Boom, you run up in a something, you understand? And then now, person right in the vehicle and you, you know, end up loss of life and all of them things. Eh. So it don't make no sense. Stop, you are the police officer, take your ticket and go pay your ticket because at the end of the day, you are carrying people around. So if you say, then catch him if you suspend your license. Yeah, that's my take. Yeah, man. Well, this taxi man is clear that he have some mental issues because no sensible person would have done what he did. Um, in addition to bringing trouble on himself, he bring trouble on the owner of that vehicle because clearly this is not his vehicle. Nobody will have them, them investment that them spend so much money on would do this nonsense. Right now, I'm going to have to pay a record fee because I'm going to have to take it up. I'm going to have to pay well, the owner. We have to pay for storage and we have to pay for pound fee and whatever other fees associated with this this issue and it's a lot i think in addition to whatever the police are going to charge him for and those tickets that he's going to pay he should be made to pay those as well if i have to work and pay it but he should be charged he should, the owner should ensure that he pays those fees reckless and dangerous driving where a collision did not occur um evading are eluding the police resisting arrest so many other charges i just can't remember them right now but a whole heap of charge every day i go get all for nonsense and probably want to stop him he would have probably have gotten a speeding ticket or some other kind of ticket you understand for 
20,000 or maybe under and this money right here so now I'm sure I'm going to be way over because there's some big hefty fees man, you know for wrecking fee so I have some big fees to pay some big fines to pay I honestly think he should get the entire book thrown at him at first I'm guilty of something while he's running and secondly it was an endangerment to himself and to the public so I said not even throw like fling fling the entire book at him and strip him down to him in bone where everything is concerned license road road license insurance everything strip him of the entire thing when he don't, he don't want to go back in another vehicle my views a blessed morning to the family blessed morning to you my view well the video start at a point where you see taxi man i try to get it from police and you see me and then it's like them spin the circle two time and him decide to go up the road there they say. which him supposed to know say him never did go get it from the police them in a car with siren and this and that they must catch up on you that is reckless driving me not understand certain man you don't get catch already just you surrender i think you make it easier upon you yeah, I got a driver around. Suppose him the car's accident, lit down people, crashing on other people, car, kill off people and himself. All sort of sitting can happen. Boy, I mean, I know, but them, they, him forget a tall stretch. For that stupidness there. Where him do? I'm not lying. Blessings, blessings, man, each and everyone. Well, <laughs> I don't really know the reason why I'm around. But I'm going to talk because I regular me see them things happen, see? I go to I do I do him do it as a taxi driver. And maybe man that whole lip of stress from ticket and things. So he go to see all the police and see how look away when he feel like he could have get wet because he maybe say a pickup passenger we find of a pickup, block up the road of truck traffic, um maybe he might be a line or somewhere and police are running around. I feel like he could have escaped and he try to go for it. It not happen. The next video now, when he get caught, I don't see like him in an accident, him cause no accident or nothing. We can't like it, it damage or anything. We like him just stop. So he realized he can't get to him, stop. Police them pull him over. Police them stop him and a custom and wreck. So me just feel like say, all right, if you get one ticket up yourself, now you buy yourself an extra two. You understand? Um, me not see he reach to a, a, a case where he really they resist arrest in a certain way because um, if me remember serve me correct when I watch the second video. When the police him run, yes, but when the police him hold on to him, he does not handcuff on him or two police. And he walk with them, so I guess he never really arrest him, he just try to run feet, whatever the case may be. Maybe panic mode hit him at first instance, he might try to get to him, you know, but he actually give in. So I just feel like said the police them, he just warrant himself an extra two ticket or so, but I don't think them fit pan him from driving or nothing like that. Yeah, my view. I want to tell you, so, you know, me go through the struggles as a taxi driver where you used to operate without, without um, the proper documents. Well, until me understand certain things, because me just did try to make a living and me just did do a thing. But understanding what can happen, what if certain things happen without certain documents and whatever, you put the, you know, the greater public at risk. And I strongly believe say, this driver here him forget slap with a, quite a few charges to include to include things like endangering the public, you know, eluding the police. You should I get a suspension likewise too. So I mean, you know take your ticket, brother. Or Get your vehicle straight now. Go talk to the judge. Oh, 
and me give my me give my input base on the video down you see give my input on the base on the video there because when we see my run from them I'm not seeing an accident happen I'm not seeing nothing outrageous so that's why me give my reason like that I have to look out for other people and before me does call me there me used to be a bus driver now them unruly but me used to drive brand bus and you know one and two times I go do something where again still I like pick up passenger not at a bus stop let off passenger not at a bus stop when you buck up on traffic you go shoot the line and all them things there so me used to do it and me now go say and me now go say um me have to run like this and them something there but sometimes this shit happen you know if it am to you you am to other people you will see and all them something there Bless up my view. <laughs> now, my view, as we can clearly see with this driver, he was evading the police. He was a danger not only to himself but to others. He could have caused he could have caused an accident. He could have run over someone running from the police. Then when we see where he ran and then you know the police pulled him out, he was resisting arrest. What happened? They don't hear what you said. That they must comply first, then complain after. You know, so he's his license. He's supposed to lose his license. You know, I see where his license should be revoked. All right, for a period of time, not forever, for a period of time. And I'm, and you know, I don't know what they were, if, what he, why he was running from the police. What's the reason why he ran from the police? That I don't know. So I don't know what other charges should be pending on him. Right. So what he did, he was very dangerous to society. He's, he's dangerous to himself and to society because he didn't have no sense. Comply, then you complain after. Now, when you look at those policemen, you can see that they were young guys, but boy, I'm not alive. They need like a more calm meal porridge. They need some dashing and some badu. <clears throat> them need some sassy perilla, strong back, chainy whisk, and them something because all them weeks so. And these policemen, they need to give them tears at all. When you have men like these, man, you tears them. Yeah. High voltage and tears them real good because this man he was um, resisting arrest and fighting with the police. Oh, the police then weak him man. But on the other hand, I understand if a policeman if him did they resist and the policeman did just kick him off and put him and him put out the ground, people would be saying something else. So six is one, half a dozen is the other. But the police, you know, we have seen too many videos. Police really need to go start doing some, you know, weightlifting and things like that. You know, because I'm too weak man. Man, the man them have them all, two of them, I have this man just have them all over the place. Although the man have a good body on him still. But mercy. So yeah, he should lose his license. I don't know what he was running from the police for. And for them resisting arrest, sitting and never lock him up. <clears throat> you understand? And the police them, when I go back at the gym, man. I'm not too weak. Morning time, everybody. One thing I want me have to say. Play a full full game, you're gonna win full full prizes. That's all. Nothing more I have to say. Cause this man this this man not come from planet Earth. He not come from planet Earth. He couldn't come from planet Earth. They will find where the eyeglass in a man. Remember me tell you that. Look, he said they never fire shot panny. Blessings, blessings, family. Where well, my third on this is Jamaica have this set of syndicate, madman in clean clothes or mad people in clean clothes. And some of these people see them on the sit down the taxi and the driver keep up them foolish there with them. And yes, still again, some of them will come out of the vehicle, yes, but when them see the vehicle another time when you see them driving, they've gone back to night again. I think the police, when they catch him, I think they need to take away his license, revoke his license, and put him away. And most of the time, the vehicle is not even for them, or people they might drive for. They need to take the vehicle to and send a message to the owner. So I said, take away the vehicle, prosecute them, suspend them license, make it be known so them license being suspended and then get caught and get a drive without license again you get them a lengthy prison sentence and if I have a PPV license take it away that's just my thought on that 
I say, it's like them taxi man allowing police to hook them up and them something, harass them and them thing. So you lose your license for fit four. If you have a ticket, just I tell you, them man, and taxi man, and different man. Say. Police stop you have a ticket, just, just, just pay a fine, you brother. You gotta run up and down and drive up and down like a madman. Police wall and pain and pepper spray, you know. You lose your license. Mm, more yes, man. Yes, my view. Of course, action should be taken out on this driver. Yeah, and you know why? Because first and foremost, nobody, and I mean absolutely no one, should run from the law. You should obey the law at all times, abide by the law. Especially, car chase is very dangerous. You should not run from the law, no matter what you have, no matter who you are, no matter what, you should obey the law. You should never resist arrest or run from the law at no point. No one is above the law. Police stop you, you stop and you comply. That can save your life and plenty other lives because car chases are very dangerous. You running from the cop, can you can cause accidents, injured, even lost of lives. Other people can get injured because of you. Police stop you, you stop. You answer questions, so on and so forth, and you abide. You follow instructions, you answer questions. That's how the law works. No one is above the law. No one should resist the law. No one should run from the law, especially as a taxi man. Right, first and foremost, again, your license plate is there. You're known. So running from the law, you in Jamaica, they're going to catch you regardless. If not today, it's tomorrow. So action should be taken. He should go to jail and his license should be revoked. Yeah, once you run from the law like that and could have caused injuries, loss of life, accidents, all of that, you should be arrested, charged, and your license taken away. You shouldn't even allow to go around another steering. Never you run from the law. You cannot run from police, especially in Jamaica, people all on the streets, other vehicles, and stuff like that. Yeah, man, them for arrest him, lock him up, charge him, take away his license, and so on and so forth. They should make an example out of this person. So, police stop you, you stop. Do not give away your rights, people. Police stop you, you stop. Even if them arrest you, Okay, you comply, go on, then now you take further actions, right? You get a lawyer, you know, you go court if for that, you know, and it ain't good, no? So, yeah, man, action should be taken out on this guy for real. Trust me. You see all them madness, you know, how get embarrassed? You marry the police them. Them tire in teeth shit on the pan the ground, see him with a lick out couple of teeth, them lick out him right knee. So he can't drive again for a distance. Make him drink one whole bottle of pepper spray. Some of them drive here, man, they, they make it bad and disrespectful. They make it bad for all other passenger driver in Jamaica. Yes, drunk or like them here. And all taxi driver disobey no but this are one of the ones them will disobey. And when you catch him like this, you you, you make an example out of them, out of them, like me say, take with them license, take with the vehicle, because most likely you're not know, feeling vehicle. Take with the vehicle, make the driver, the owner of the vehicle, have to hustle and pay some money, good money, if you get it back. And make the word spread, so them know, say, when they're running on him again, no, nobody now give them back them vehicle, give them back the vehicle. And then if you have a public transportation license, if you drive a um, passenger vehicle, Take with that man, making a push on cat. Good morning, good morning, good morning, neighbors and bridges and friends. On the scissor, taxi man just like the police them around for their money. All when they come out of the car, he still like give them around for their money. Him just feel nice. Yeah, man, if we make an example out of them, man, because we. I bet I want to take him around for the police and, 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 and get some of the arrest. 
Si te pones en la fea, jump en el panima. Yo, no me manda a un batman de mene. Hoy full, hoy full logo en police and come antagonizing. Ya go round and round. At least I can't even watch a front. Ya go round and round and round and round. Lick out the knee, yes. You can drink out some of my pepper spray for two hours, so you say. Yes, I think action should be taken against the driver. You have a responsibility to obey road rules, road laws, and you also have a responsibility to respond to law enforcement. If the cop is pulling you over, you pull over. You may be in the wrong, yes, but you're running away from the police and you will cause accidents, you hurt other people, and it's usually not the offender who's hurt okay so you pull over and if you have any disputes you always say what do you say my view comply then complain i don't like that shit. if i was a cop i go to work i'm not trying to be running behind nobody all day long whatever 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 he's a taxi driver matter of fact when i catch him some other time this is too much and i hate when they do that crap and then people film it they find it funny and that encourages the next person to do it and the next person to do it there's just too much lawlessness in our society and that's stemming and that's the stem to a lot of other issues that we have going on no pull over talk to the cops and you know a lot of times they make it worse for them because little things that the police would discuss with you or tell you or point out no you running and behaving like that you just rack up a whole bunch of charges unnecessarily you understand and a lot of time they're behaving like that they're driving for other people and put other people in a lot of um financial distress nonsense my take on this as i always say if even if you have an outstanding ticket and police stop you comply comply make it easier for you instead of you run up and down with your passenger in a taxi what you think are going to happen them are got most of them trigger up you got things say a gun man you have in a year run with you know i narrowly escaped that in Golden Springs, same way because taxi man run from police. All him may say, have driver don't run. You know, have nothing, take one ticket, driver stop the car, make them in, nah, do that. Police shoot up the car. Come on, man. Me always say, if you don't have nothing to hide, just comply. Make life easier. He might have them run and run in a circle. Yes, he might keep them from them peas and them cues. But at the same time, what if I want to go happy when we decide to we'll shoot up the car? He could have shoot it up if passenger, in, well, we don't see no passenger in there because we see a him one come out. Then could have shoot and, and, and kill him. Come on, man. They need to do better. They need to do better. They need to do better. If you if you not have nothing for hide, man, police stop you. You know more time in a vehicle, police stop and say, all I do, man, then come out. Me no wait for them for search. Me, me put up my hand up in the ear and I have my ratchet. Sometimes I have my eyes because I'm not left that. And when they say, me put in uh, my hands up and then search, the woman then search and then not find nothing and then gone. Come on, man. Them need to do better. Them taxi man need to do better. And if they know they have outstanding ticket and then dirty driving, people no stop taking no vehicle, give these guys. And go up on the street, yeah, man. Morning, people. Yo, I tell you, this is a driver have to go to prison straight. No bail, not at all, because that is reckless and endangering driving. You understand? They forgive him the whole book, all the Bible, they forgive him too. Same action in my view take against me in a group. If you can't obey the rules or the law, kick them out. So if you can't obey the rules or the road and the law, take away license. Just take away, just take away license. This shouldn't even be a Christian. Just take away the boss license. Send him go up on construction site. Everybody yeah, have to just call jail, clearly if you go jail, because the one, see my, my, my run from the police, when the police say all him, he might even run and he can't be done for it, he can't even run. These are some beating plus, he might get some mad lick, but definitely if you get charged, serious charge. You see me, me is not a hypocrite to myself, so. You know, I'm a hypocrite to nobody. 
I can't really say nothing negative about this, you know, because I used to drive taxi one time and I used to drive left police too. When them take set for me, or them stop you and they in a bad day and they just want to get the whole book. So as a taxi man, sometimes I understand what they go through. As a one time taxi man, sometimes I understand what they go through. Sometimes you have to understand. Gunman have walk past the police them and them look the next side and them just come right right now you know most of the police them in Jamaica you know them not busy about crime you know the man go busy about go out there and write bag a ticket so sometimes you're tired of them as a taxi man big man thing you just drive left them cause them just come out on the road and they just walk past everybody a criminal everybody and with them book and you just stick it them all right. They were busy about crime. And then you have the real El Gringo police them where just tell them which part of the gunman there and they might go for them. Big up them police there. But some of them police yeah, here, I tell you the truth. For them work, I for just go out there and write ticket. That's all they want to do. They don't want to do nothing more. You see me? So, me understand when I see the taxi man I drive left them. They want to tell them. God no. What me I go say? Lock him up and give him this and, and that and that and I used to drive taxi too and understand how the street set up. I can't say that. I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to drive with the police them. It's just that him is a fool because him shouldn't drive go up King Street. And so him drive go around, him should drive go around again and then take around to his part bank of Jamaica there and go up there so and then detour and go turn in some place because that road is normally free. You go up in one roadway be a traffic always there, yeah, 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 yeah. what am I telling him? I thought he must not know how good, I must say I panic, because they couldn't catch me. My view, I think the driver should not be driving on the road, and he doesn't value the life of the citizen or, on the, or the law, and I bet the car doesn't belong to him.